Sean, just don't take the cheese, right? The ball comes out, then let's all get some depth. When Mike Vrabel set out to tackle his fourth season as head coach of the Tennessee Titans, he had no idea what was in store. Sure, he knew there would be some protocol changes due to COVID-19's continued presence. Yes, he was aware the Titans were facing the 13th most difficult schedule in the National Football League. But one thing that he did not anticipate, that no head coach can anticipate, is injuries. Injuries happen, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, if there was a way to stop injuries, every single team in the NFL would do it. How many we've had this year is just a super, you know, super unfortunate. But Vrabel, every single week, harps on the team keys, puts guys in there. Our coaches do a great job of, you know, if we have our whole starting offensive line, putting more on the offensive line. We have our whole re receiver core, putting more on them and, and plugging and playing guys and, and teaching them the game plan to where they know what's going on and they can go play fast and aggressive. I think Vrabel and this whole entire coaching staff deserves a lot of credit for that. The Titans have persevered throughout the season and overcome adversity time and time again. No matter the opponent, no matter the obstacle, the Titans are always ready for the challenge. Why is that? Well, ask anyone at St. Thomas Sports Park and they'll tell you it's because Mike Vrabel always has a plan. Incredible leadership and consistency. He paints a, a great picture for us of what it's going to take to win games and then holds us to that standard, you know, and, and that's, uh, that's all you could ever ask for out of a head coach is tell me what you need for me to help this team win and then hold me accountable to doing it. And he certainly does those things. We gotta win, we gotta get some pressure. Does a great job giving us a game plan and explaining, you know, throughout the week, you know, what they're asking for us to do, uh, depending on position. And he does a great job of giving us tips and stuff, um, you know, keys and stuff that can help us be productive. And then just overall, the atmosphere in the room has been great with him leading the way. Putting together a winning game plan is a crucial part of the head coaching job. But to be a great head coach, that takes a little bit more than just X's and O's. The ability to establish relationships, to earn trust, to develop a brotherhood, that is a rare skill set that separates the good coaches, really the good teams, from the great ones. I think the biggest thing that I see is, I mean, he cares about the guys. Like, he truly is genuinely caring about each individual player on this team, whatever their role might be, whatever situation they're going through. And I think when you care about guys, that's when you start to earn their trust, earn their respect, and ultimately they're willing to do whatever for you, right? If I know somebody's got my back, regardless of what's going on, like I'm gonna do everything I can to make them right and be there for him and do what, what he's asking me to do. Honestly, I just think that, you know, the brotherhood that he creates as obviously being a former player, he just has a different level of understanding how things look, how things should work. Not only just that, but also, he does a great job of every single week preparing us for every single team. Because I mean, obviously we have our team keys, effort and finish, all that good stuff. But just be able to break every team down and make us confident going to the game that, hey, if we just accomplish these things, we'll win the game. But he has a lot of great qualities, honestly. But I think the brotherhood, the fact that he played 14 years, it's so easy to buy into what he's saying because you know, if he's done it and I want to play a long time, I'm going to do exactly what he tells me to do. I appreciate Coach Bray just for everything. I know this is a business and, and sometimes you don't want to get emotionally attached or tied with someone, you know, cause it's a, it's a business side of it, but man, I appreciate him so much. And people like that, I think no matter however this business may go, I think forever I'll be a friend of his and he'll be a friend of mine. But I appreciate him so much for just opening his door, just listening, trying to help me. It doesn't go unnoticed with me. So he's definitely family in my book.